This craftsman first preheats some clear glass in a small oven. Then he breaks off a piece of colored glass. After the clear glass has melted in the furnace overnight, he gathers some on a steel rod, then picks up a chunk of preheated color glass with it. He forms a knob and works the mass into a long string that's up to 16 and a half feet long and thin as a noodle. He'll use them in various colors to decorate the clear glass cores of the marbles. He gathers a clump of melted clear glass on the rod and shapes it with wet newspaper, which won't stick to hot glass. After shaping the end, he rolls the clump on several preheated colored glass strings. Then it's back in the furnace. He repeats these steps up to three times and rolls the clump on a metal table to even out the surface between each trip to the furnace. Then he adds a layer of clear glass on top. With another tool now, he stretches the clump to about one and a half feet long. He'll use this to make several cores. To make the second layer of the core, he rolls a two inch long segment onto colored glass slivers called ribbons. After rolling them in the furnace to melt them, he flattens the ribbons with pliers and snips off the excess at the ends. He wraps the core in the ribbons in a layer of clear glass, then hand shapes it. Now he rolls the core on more glass strings. Then it's back in the furnace to meld them. He adds one more clear glass layer and the inside is finished. That's a total of six layers for this marble. Other models have fewer or more. The craftsman shapes the glass with several metal and wooden tools. He measures the diameter with metal calipers and gradually sculpts a sphere. He'll make up to five marbles from this segment, ranging up to the size of a golf ball. After scoring the glass with a knife, he places it in the open end of a pipe to hold it. Then he gently taps the rod, which breaks the glass and releases the sphere. He melts away the bump left at the spot where the glass broke. Next, the marble goes into an oven at 986 degrees Fahrenheit. The oven slowly cools overnight to strengthen the glass.